Hi guys and welcome to the third Geek Tool tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to get an iTunes, iTunes status and a time machine status that will tell us the last thing, 10 things that our time machine did. So by the end of this you'll have every command on the desktop, on my desktop at the moment and you can just position them how you like and just try different things. So let's get started. First of all, we'll start with the we'll start with the time machine. So all we simply need to do is copy the command and then just open Geek Tool. Now I'll close all these groups and open the YouTube one that we've been working on. I'll open YouTube. And as you'll be able to see, I've moved things around a bit just to give us a bit more space. And to make it look a bit nicer. So all I need to do is drag in a shell. And now on the command, paste the command in. Refresh every 10 we'll give it a white colour so we can see it it's a white marker felt and we'll just 11 there we are now we'll close and we'll have to enlarge it a bit as you can see we've enlarged there so that's the top last fat last 10 sorry time machine updates that we did so next we've got the iTunes status again we just need to copy and paste it and this one's quite a long one so we need to make sure that we don't miss bits right so we'll just copy this and we will drag in a new shell Drag in a new shell, paste the command in, and refresh, and just set in a font that we'll be able to see. So, 18, and we'll, we'll have it a bit bigger, we'll have it 36, and we'll make it white. So, there we are. As you can see, we'll need to change the size of this box again and I've moved the weather to the right because I always like to have this just like over the corner of the dock so it's just a preference of mine so there we are this is the iTunes status so this just tells us which song we're playing I always like to have this refreshing every one second so that it instantly tells me what the song that I have on is but that's just personal preference. So that's the Geek Tool commands. Now you might want more stuff than this. So an easy way to find it out is Geeklet. Just type in Geeklets into Google or www.macosxtips.co.uk slash geeklets. So this is just other people's commands that they've found out and you can get wallpapers, see how people have laid theirs out and just give you inspiration for how you want yours. But you can also get other people's commands that they've done. So for example here it says clean, date, time and weather. And if we scroll down we can see what they've done. And here, files to download, we can get their backgrounds. We can get lots of other things but... Um, just as an example, I'll get the seconds geek letters. That uh, I've not got that one at the moment. So come into our downloads folder. We simply just need to open it here. Say yes, we do want to run, and here we are. You can see. So we will open in preferences and just click. 
and drag. So we might want it there. You can easily change the font size and so it fits in with yours and it won't ruin the command. So we can just easily do that. Put it at something smaller like 18 and then we can just have it there. So you can easily add geeklets that way. And that's all for the Geeklet tutorial set. This is the last Geeklet tutorial that I planned, but if you would like me to try do a tutorial on another Geeklet that you found out about, please message me and I'll have a look into it and try to put up a tutorial for you. So, thanks guys. Please like and subscribe, that, as that really helps. And thank you for watching.